All right, so I hated when help videos just kind of dilly dally and not get into the problem solution right away. Uh, at, but this is a very specific issue slash bug that has been plaguing me for a while, and it's taken me a long time to sort out answers or even just kind of figure things out for myself. But it, it pertains to from software games like Elden Ring, Sekiro, uh, Armor Core, and focus entertainment games such as Expedition uh, Mud, uh, Mud Runner and the recent Space Marine 2 release. And I thought I was going crazy or maybe my computer or maybe GPU was, you know, broken. But it's basically the problem is whenever you start up specifically from software games, they always freeze up or not start up or get stuck on the white slash black uh, Bandai Namco kind of like screen. And you either have to wait a long time or basically kind of just pray that it works every time you boot up your computer or you boot up the game. For the focus entertainment games, especially for like Space Marine 2 or a Mudrunner game, um, it also takes a long time to start up or freezes. Uh, but more interestingly, it freezes up when you all tab, press your Windows key or click your mouse away from the outside of the window of that game. And then when you try to kind of get back into the game it looks like this it's like it's not responding it's not responding wait for the program to respond close the program and the only solution if you don't want to restart the game completely and just kind of wait for it and not touch anything is to click wait for the program to respond for a three to five minute response time so that's the problem uh if you're experiencing this problem this is the video uh, and hopefully the solutions offered here will actually help if it's not your if it's not your problem then you can just completely ignore this video but maybe you can link this video to someone who does have a problem especially if they have a corsair keyboard so turns out some time ago when i was having a lot of issues with sekiro or elden ring i figured it was a really bad just i guess from software port from console to uh, PC, especially in the case of Dark Souls 3, which I had the same issue with. And then sometime later, I found a post similar to this one here that, hey, I actually discovered that my Corsair keyboard, which is actually a completely different model from mine, by the way, this person had the Corsair K70 and I have a Corsair you know, silent mechanical keyboard. Uh, and the ice and the IQ software seemed to be the culprit. And this person unplugged their keyboard as their game loaded up. And I did the same thing for Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring and all that, and it worked miraculously. I don't know if it's the actual keyboard itself or uh, the software IQ, but I'll kind of get into that actually. So that worked. And now years later, I'm playing Space Marines 2, um, a Space Marine 2, and I'm like, Maybe it's my GPU. I mean, 2080 Ti is like kind of a little outdated compared to 3090 or 4080. And, uh, you know, graphically it is very demanding. So I updated my drivers, restarted my computer, uh, adjusted FPS settings, adjusted graphic settings, and all these things that people are telling other people to do on the Steam forums or Reddit forums. And really frustrating, nothing happened until I was like, hey, uh, what if it's the same issue with Corsair? I'm like tweeting this out to just into the void. Like, hey, does anyone know what the problem is? Or, hey, and I kind of mused out loud. What if it's the same problem <laughs> that from software games have on PC with Corsair keyboards? And turns out, yes, amazingly, flabbergastingly, it is the same problem. So the solution to these problems is you unplug your Corsair keyboard uh, as the from software or the focus entertainment games load. And then the games will actually start immediately. Um, and most notably with the, you know, focus entertainment games like Space Marine 2, it will never freeze. Once you start all tabbing, clicking out of the game window or pressing the window button, um, there were some freeze issues for me during the early access of Space Marine 2, which might also have been related to the Corsair keyboard or Corsair software, but I need to test us now update the dread or the comments down below. If I find that unplugging during the Space Marine 2's initial loading, uh, res resolves those mini freezes, or that could also be a graphical optimization thing. But anyway, yes, PSA try unplugging your Corsair keyboard as these from software or focus entertainment games load up, or you can try just uninstalling the actual software of the Corsair, uh, uh, what's it called, IQ, so IQ software. So yeah, you could, you could do that. I actually had to search up IQ. It's listed as Corsair IQ in, in, my, in my control panel. I deleted it and it seems to have worked at least for the 
to focus entertainment games like Space Marine 2 and Expeditions. Uh, I have seen one really like isolated post on some random forum some time ago that says that doesn't work and you still have to manually unplug your Corsair keyboard in and out for Elden Ring. So try both. And that's really the only solution. Um, and after you, let's say, end the instance of Space Marine 2 or, or Elden Ring or Sekiro on PC, you usually have to actually basically do the same thing when you reboot it back up. So if your game crashes, you have to unplug your key, unplug your Corsair keyboard or something to make sure it works, um, usually. But yeah, that's basically a solution. Hopefully it helps. And I will demonstrate right now to show what I mean. So I just kept constantly getting the Warhammer, you know, 40,000 Space Marine 2 is not responding. And I figured maybe it's the Epic Space Games or even Steam kind of compatibility issue that they have going on here. But it wasn't. I boot up the uh, Space Marine 2. And I also thought it was the easy anti-cheat thing. A lot of people were pointing to that as potential issues for the uh, Space Marine 2 not starting up. And I was like, okay, that's plausible. But why is it that it's not just this focused entertainment game, but also other fo focused entertainment games. And it's now loading up. And I even fiddled around with NVIDIA control panel, uh, uh, just all these things that were recommended. And in the end, it was just, just as simple and weird as unplugging or uninstalling Corsair, Corsair software. I don't know why specifically it's Corsair keyboards or Corsair software for the past four years that it's been affecting these games. Um, but it is, unfortunately, it's, it's kind of actually, I, I love Corsair products, but it's kind of making me think for my next keyboard, I probably go with something else, uh, until maybe they fix something. Uh, you know, there, there was also a post on a more technical forum speculating that there's like certain USB, uh, things, sorry, USB devices that can also cause similar issues with certain games. So I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm, I don't know. So anyway, like compared to, if you look at my like past streams on Twitch or YouTube, it's, it's, it's like five minute fast loading screen and I can just go in. I'm, I'm all tabbing here, right? I'm moving things around, blah, blah, blah. And it's not freezing. There's no white screen. It's, it's fine. And voila. So yeah, this is a very specific issue. And I, I've also put a write-up on, like a text write-up on my Reddit, for, uh, subreddit. Just so that Google can pick it up because a lot, I'm sure there's like at least 500 people like me out there Googling for this exact issue. I mean, there's probably a lot of people who do use Corsair keyboards. And I hope this really helps. Like this is because this has been really frustrating. All I want to do is game, and here we go. Uh, make sure you spread this if it helped you. <laughs>